Hey guys, well, you've seen the thumbnail, so you know what this is going to be about, right? We're going to talk about pipes, any type for any scene. Okay, here we go. All right, guys, well, uh, pipes, pipes, and pipes. Uh, regardless of the type of scene that you're creating, whether it's for a game, an animation, uh, feature, short film, or regular film, or whatever, uh, you're gonna see pipes anywhere and everywhere, all right? So uh, copper pipes, PVC pipes, and so on and so forth. So it's pretty important for you to know how to do that. Now, uh, there are a couple of options out there, and I'm just gonna show you guys a few, so it's uh, easy for you guys to get on your way, right? Now, I typically start with a polygon cylinder. I'll go into the attribute editor, set subdivision level to about eight. Uh, I don't need any caps, so we'll set that to zero. And height, let's do five, which is okay, right? So I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna right click, go to face, select that top face and delete it. Select the bottom face and delete it. Okay, so let's say this is gonna be our straightforward, straight piece of pipe. I'll just uh, hit Control D to duplicate this guy, hit W to move it over, and hit Shift D a couple of times, so I'm sure I have enough copies if I need them. And that said, let's get in here, okay? So let's uh, take the first one here. I'm gonna right click at the edge, double click, and Shift double click. I'm gonna hit Control E to extrude. Let's do 0.1 on the thickness, all right? I'll take that one again, Shift select, Control E once again. Let's uh, push that out. Let's do minus 0 0.1. And then we're gonna go back in one more time. And we're gonna hit Control E and let's do some thickness inward like this. Minus 0 0.1, which is okay. Now, uh, if we go in and smooth this, and I'll just do a preview smooth instead of an actual smooth. So if I hit three, you'll see that your edges will look something like this. Now that's fine unless you want more distinct edges. And in that case, you will go in here, you will go into Insert Edge Loop, Option Box, set that to Manual, go in here, push one up there and push one down there. Hit Q on your keyboard, go in here and hit 3 to preview smooth and it'll get something like this. Now, usually you don't need to do the inside because these are pipes, right? Uh, so they will have other pipes stuck into them and whatnot. But let's say you have a pipe that's just uh, something like this and it's lying on the floor and you don't want people to see that inside, right? Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to edge, double click on that last edge you created, shift double click on this one right here and go to edit mesh and bridge, option box, linear path, subdivision isn't really necessary, just do one and hit bridge. Now, it's a bit thin. The wall is very thin, actually. That's why you can see all that black. Well, we can fix that. So I'm just gonna hit Control Z to go back. And what we'll do is we'll take this edge and shift double click this one, all right? And I'm just gonna hit R to scale it in a little bit like this, all right? And uh, let's go into Edit Mesh and Bridge once again. And there you have it, no black edges and whatnot. And of course, if you want to have a nice tight line up here, we'll hit one to go back. You'll go in and go to Insert Edge Loop, put one up there, put one down there. Q in the keyboard, Object Mode, and three to preview smooth. And there you have it. So that's a straightforward pipe, right? Let's hit W, move this guy out of the way. What if you want a bent section? Let's do a 45 degrees one. So I'll take this, we'll go to deform, nonlinear, bend, which will give us our bend handle. We'll go into the attribute editor, set the curvature to 45 degrees, which will give you something like this. Select it, edit, delete by type and history to get rid of our control there. We're gonna right click at an edge, double click and shift double click. Control E as before. Let's do a thickness of 0.1. We'll just uh, select them again. G to repeat last command. Let's do, oh, let's get the right one there. 0.1, that's fine. We'll do that 
one more time. Do you repeat last command? And you can bring that in as far as you want. Okay, so in this case, it's 0 0.2, that's fine. And you can go in here, go into object mode, hit three to preview smooth, which will give you something like this. Or as before, you can go back in to injured edge loop, we'll push one in there, push one in there, Q in your keyboard, hit three to preview smooth, and you get something like this. Now, again, as before, if you want to have that uh, edge higher, oops, you can take this and this, hit W, and then make sure you are in uh, object orientation. So double click here, open that up, change world to object mode, which will allow you to pull that out. Okay, so that's how you do that. All right, so that's 45 degrees. Of course, you can do the same with 30 degrees and whatnot. Um, let's see, we don't need all these. I'll take the last two and show you how to make a T section, okay? So we'll take this, we'll hit E to rotate, hold down J, lay it flat. We'll take this guy and we'll hold J and we'll lay it flat in that direction, all right? Now we're gonna go in here, F to frame, we're gonna hit W, we're gonna move that over here. And I'm holding down, uh, let's hold on X so I can snap it. Let's do that right here in the middle. We'll take this guy, we'll do the same thing. All right, after frame in. Now, like I said, it's supposed to be a T section. So we'll take this guy, we'll hit R to scale that out. Let me just hide this for a second, hit H and hit H. So we're going to pull that out. We're going to take this guy, we're going to W, and we're going to pull that out until that top is exactly in the middle like this, right? Then we're going to go in, we're going to select both. We're going to go to um, Mesh and uh, Combine. Let's do a preview smooth to see what we got. Looks okay. Hit 1 to go back. We can now actually take these two and bring that in if we want. So we can go in and... Hit R to bring that in a bit, just to make it look a little bit more like a proper T section. And with those two selected, I'm going to shift select the third one as well. Control E to extrude. Let's do 0 0.1 as before. Select, shift select, and shift select G to repeat last command. Let's do minus 0 0.1, that's fine. And then we're gonna go in and we're gonna do it one more time. Okay, G to repeat last command. And bring that in. Uh, let's see, minus 0 0.2, that's fine. Okay, now typically you won't be looking inside this. Uh, however, if that is the case, what you then need to do is you need to go to Boolean and Union to make it one object, okay? But normally when you're working with something like this, it's smoothed out and you got pipes sticking out of them, which will give you something looking like this, okay? As before, if you want sharper edges, add edges to the corner right there. If you want this to be thicker, extend that, right? Okay, and then one more, and that's the final one. Um, I think I'm all out of pieces here, so let's just hit Control Z to go back. And I'll just get rid of this, take this guy. Um, let's say you got a section going from thick to thin, right? Now, um, pretty obvious, I would say, but nevertheless, I'll show you. Um, we'll go in here, after frame, right click on the face. Let's take these three, control E to extrude. Let's give it some thickness, something like this. Yeah, it's fine. We're going to right click at the edge, double click, shift, double click. I don't want those faces right here. So let me just get rid of that. Okay, so we're going to double click on this edge and shift, double click on this one. Control E as before. We're going to do sort of point one. Then we're going to take these two. G repeat last command, minus 0 0.1. And then we'll do that one more time. 
Control E and do zero point minus zero point two. Okay, which will give you that. Now here it's pretty important. If you smooth this out, it will look a bit weird. So get something like this. So you need to make sure that you have uh, lines in place where you need them. Okay, so I'm gonna hit one to go back. First of all, what I want to do is take these faces and these faces. Okay. Hit R and pull them out to give it a lot more thickness because typically sections like this uh, have a bit more thickness to it. Okay. Then we're going to go into Internet Edge Loop, which I believe is still set to one. And we're going to add one there. And one there. There and there. There and there. Okay. And then if you want, you can do one right here as well and one right here. Or you can crease the edges depending on what your use is, okay? If you're in the keyboard, object mode, hit three to preview smooth, which will give you something like this, okay? Kind of cool. So uh, all sorts of things you can do with pipes, pipes, pipes. These are just a few of them, okay? If you get any questions or you want me to do videos on very specific uh, types of pipe or whatever, uh, let me know in the comment section. I will do that if I can. Uh, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. And that said, thank you very much for watching, as always, and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.